Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be playing in some eyeshadow colors that I've been waiting to play in. Some more brighter colors. So first I just took some Ulta Brand Primer and I just primed my face. Then I used uh, my LA Girl Concealer and Beige. And then I just set it with the, some CoverGirl Translucent Powder. Then I went into the Too Faced Life's Beautiful Palette and... I took that blue color there and I began to apply that as my first shade on both sides and that is a Morphe M441 brush that I'm using to blend it. And I just get that in there really good. Then we move on to the Morphe 9C palette and I'm using the color Rich Girl to put inside of my crease on both sides. And then you just blend that and then get that as dark as you like. That color didn't come out really dark. So I went into my Too Faced Peach palette and I used the darker purple from that palette to put into my crease to make that color a bit more darker. Then I went back into my LA Girl Concealer and I began to cut my crease so I can, so I can make a, uh, so I can put my other three colors over my cut crease. I don't know what the hell I'm trying to explain right now. So once I cut my crease on both sides, I went and went back into the Likes a Festival palette. And then I started, no, actually I went into the Beauty Glaze and Press You palette. That's just a little palette I got from Amazon. I did that first and I used the teal color inside the palette and I applied that to the outer corners of my lids. Once I got that color in on both sides, I moved to back to the Life's Beautiful palette and I'm gonna put an orange in the middle of both sides. So once that orange is done in the same Too Faced palette, there's a dark pink shade. I put that closer to the inner part of my eyelids on both sides. As you can see, I was a little late showing you though. Sometimes I get carried away and I just keep going and keep going and then not realizing that, you know, you need to show what you're using. So then I just went back to darken up that purple because it got lost a little bit between me trying to cut the crease. So I just wanna put that back. So, you know, the purple shows. So I think that came out pretty good. So next we go into our foundation that is the Too Faced Born This Way in the color Maple. I do use this foundation in a lot of my videos, but that is because that is my favorite foundation right now. So I just take a wet beauty blender and I blend that in really good. Next, back to that LA Girl Pro Concealer in Beige. And with another wet beauty blender, I begin to blend that in. So now I'm taking my CoverGirl Translucent Powder. You know what, actually I mix our Revolution Banana Powder and my CoverGirl Powder together. I feel like that Revolution Powder just makes me look too pasty and the Translucent Powder is perfect, but to me it's almost a little too dark. So I mix them together and to me it makes a good setting for me. Not too light, not too dark, just it blends in with everything, makes it look right. And I'm just using an e.l.f. blending brush for that. Next, I'm using the Physicians Formula 2-in-1 Bronzer and Highlighter. 
I, the bronzer was good for my nose, but I had to switch and go back to my Kiss Professionals palette, which I use a lot once again. But like I said, it's a good formula. I'm gonna go makeup shopping soon and renew a lot of the things that I have. But for now, that's the one I use because I like it. It's, it's my go-to, works for me. Gets the job done. Next, I'm going to do the lower lash line, and I'm taking that pink color from the palette, and then I'm going to use the rich girl color from the 9C palette as well. That was the Revlon uh, eyeliner, and I'm just going to make a... Uh, Make a line, oh my goodness, I'm losing my train of thought. Just make a line over my eye with that. Um, that's, this one's an okay one, it's just one that I had. I have a gel one, but it's messy, and i trying to rub that on with the stick. I always hit myself in the eye with it and make a mess, so I feel like the ones like this with the like thin, defined stick just work the best for me. So once I do that, I'm just putting on some Kiss Professional lashes. They're uh, called Shy. They, they're like the more natural. Next, I'm going to be taking the NYX Away We Glow Highlighter, and that's the color Rose Quartz, and I'm just gonna add some to both sides of my cheeks, over my brow, and my nose and chin. And back to the Physicians Formula highlighter and bronzer, I'm gonna be using that gold highlight just to add some gold to the highlight, to the red highlight. For my lip liner, I'm using the NYX Perfect Precision Lip Liner and that's in the color Sugar and Spice. And for my lips, I'm using an LA Girl Matte Lipstick, and this color is called Snuggle. And for gloss, I'm just using a, Rev, a pink Revlon gloss. I found it at Walmart. It was in like a $3 bin. It had a sticker around it, so I don't exactly know the name of it, but it's just a really light pink, pink gloss to add some tint. So guys, that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Thank you for watching again. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and see you guys later. Bye.